Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Monday, August 1st, 2022. Alright, let's get started. One across. Express displeasure as for an opposing team. I think that should be booed, right? Oh, and you know what? Look at this. We have some shaded squares on the grid today. Very interesting. A three and two fours. Those are definitely going to be our theme answers. And maybe we'll even get a revealer down at the bottom here. Okay, let's see if we can build off of Bood. German luxury cars. That's going to be BMWs. And it's BMWs plural because the clue asked for cars plural. Honolulu's Island? It's on Oahu, right? I think that's right. Great Plains Tribe. I believe that's the Oto. And we have Sue here. Take to court. Yeah, that's right. To whom you might cry, ahoy. Maybe that's going to be your matey. Ahoy matey. Reef Predator. Could that be an eel? Textile Factory Container. Hmm, that's interesting. It seems like it should start with dye, right? You would definitely use dye at a textile factory. I don't know how it's going to end, though. Dye bin? Die can, die box. <laughs> There's a lot of possibilities here. You know what? Let's take a look at this first grid spanner. It looks like all of our theme answers today are going to be grid spanners. That's pretty cool. Okay, input for a barista's grinder. Um, I guess it should be whole coffee beans. Ooh, that doesn't quite fit. Maybe it's just a whole coffee bean singular because it's input singular? Hmm, that seems a little weird. Let's see if we can build across coffee here underneath. Hmm, and it starts with a C? That seems a little strange. Balanced disposition. I would want this to be equanimity. Uh, I don't think that would fit though. Rich soil. Okay, that's got to be loam. So it's not going to be coffee bean. Interesting. All right. Well, let's put in loam and see if we can build off of that. Frozen queen. That's going to be Elsa. Vava -va blank. That should be Vava -va voom. Let's see if we can build down now. Balanced disposition. Okay, maybe that could be an even keel. That's a great entry there. It kind of works nicely with our shipmate over here. Why you little, and these quotation marks mean we need to come up with an equivalent phrase. I think this should be son of a. <laughs> these both sound like things Homer might say to Bart. The Walking Dead cable channel. That should be AMC. Oh, we have a typo up here. This should be Elsa. This is AMC. Oh, maybe it's going to be whole bean coffee. Okay, we had our words reversed here. That makes more sense. Whole bean coffee is still kind of a plural there. That works better. So we have a fee in our shaded squares here. That's got to be the first part of our theme. Ceiling beams. That has to be rafters, right? Radio frequency letters. Is that going to be AM, FM? Have empathy for? And when there's a word in parentheses like this at the end of the clue, it means that same word needs to be able to go at the end of your answer and still sound correct. So I think this could maybe be feel for. That sounds good. That's having empathy for someone. Lumberjack's tool. Shouldn't that be an ax? So this is going to be Rafa. Tennis is Nadal informally. That's right. It's Rafael Nadal, right? And then this is going to be Amex. What's missing in Erkin Press? American Express, that's right. Web Designer's Code, that's HTML, yeah. Payment app whose name is now a verb. I think that's going to be Venmo. Yeah, you can Venmo people. So now it's looking like this is going to be a die vat, right? Yeah, maybe you could dump a bunch of textiles in a giant vat. That would make sense. What baseball players, striking employees, and pet dogs each do. Um, do they 
bark? <laughs> I don't think that's right, is it? I don't think so. Um, is it going to be walk? Oh, that's very clever. Yeah, those are three different kinds of walks. That's pretty cool. Underneath. Okay, that's going to be below. Yeah, that looks much better than the C we had up there before. Middle column on a calendar abbreviated. That's going to be Wednesday, right? All right, let's take a look at our next theme answer here. Can you say more about that? And this is another equivalent phrase. Hmm. I really want this to be care to be more specific, <laughs> but I think it's not quite that. Maybe it'll be care to elaborate. That fits. There we go. Okay, so we have a rate. We have a fee and a rate. Yeah, it's starting to feel like this theme has something to do with finance, doesn't it? Interesting. Okay, let's keep building over here. Hold tightly to. And it has another word in parentheses at the end of it. So I don't think it can be clasp because clasp to doesn't really sound correct to me. Shouldn't it be cling to? That makes much more sense. Vowel quintet, that could be A-E-I-O-U. We're going in alphabetical order. Uptick in salary, that's gotta be a raise. That's always good news. So we have a lead starring role. No, it's gonna be a lead, yeah. We have three eyes, three on a grandfather clock. Yeah, this is kind of like a Roman numeral here. Cosa blank, mafia. That's the Cosa Nostra. And this word in parentheses works a little different because this is a fill in the blank clue. They're just giving us a little bit of extra context here. Word that would seem to be a portmanteau of traveling groups, but isn't. Ooh, is that gonna be a troop or troops? That's pretty funny. <laughs> I've never thought about that before. Early blank, morning person. I guess that's gonna be an early riser. The complete set. That's gotta be all, right? Okay, so I wonder if we can get this next theme answer now. Tactic employed by the Viet Cong. I guess that's gonna be guerrilla warfare. Okay, so we have fee, rate, and fare. These are all things that you have to pay, right? Hmm. Capital of Norway, that's Oslo. Tiny could be we. Blank Abner, that's Lil Abner. That's an old comic strip character. Classic German camera. I think that's going to be a Leica. Actress Dunaway, that's Faye Dunaway. Sit-ups tighten them. They tighten your abs, yeah. Silly goose. Oh my god, is this puzzle talking to us? That's great. I love it. Okay, so this is another equivalent phrase. I think it's going to be OU, another very good equivalent. Man, this puzzle just earned a bunch of brownie points for that clue. Okay, Duke of blank, title for Prince Harry. I don't know much about the royals. Is it Duke of Sussex? That would fit very nicely. Let's look at these downs. Carne blank, taco choice. Isn't that Asada? I think that's right. Choir member. Is that going to be a tenor? Banish, as from a country. Is that going to be exile? I think so. So we have Annie. The difference between Mara and Maria. <laughs> oh, it's an I. <laughs> that's crazy. Because Maria has an I in it and Mara doesn't. Okay, false god is an idol. Hypotheticals, that could be ifs. If ifs and buts were candies and nuts, we'd all have a Merry Christmas. Okay, desserts with crusts, that's gotta be pies. Just don't take any pies from Titus Andronicus. Trust me on that one. Okay, police officer, that could be a cop. What do we have on this down? Rock bottom, that could be a low point. Twosomes, that could be pairs. Love with the. I would really want this to be a door if it wasn't for the with the part. Hmm, I don't know what this should be. The shining plot device that became significant when read backward. <laughs> oh yeah, that's red rum. That's what little Danny kept repeating. Okay, 
So that helped a lot. I think this is going to be the L word. <laughs> yeah, it's a funny slang term for love. Feline memes since around 2006. Is that going to be a lolcat? It's been around that long, huh? Now where blank we? Now where were we? I wonder if we can get this last theme answer here. This has got to be a revealer. This is hopefully going to explain exactly why we have these three words in the shaded squares here. Classic game show, or a hint to 17, 26, and 47 across. <laughs> I think this puzzle just told us to come on down. Yeah, I think this is the price is right. That is so funny. It's because each one of these words can mean a price, and they're on the right side of the grid. Literally, the price is right. Very, very clever. That was a really good revealer. That was worth all the build up there. I'm very happy with that. Okay, T on a test. That's going to be true on a true false test for shame. And these brackets mean we need to come up with a nonverbal equivalent to for shame. I guess that could be tisk. Yeah, that's kind of telling someone they should be ashamed. Cuisine with pad C U. I don't know this for sure, but it looks like it could be Thai. High cost in New York and San Francisco. That's gotta be rent, right? And this is sane? Compost mentis? I guess this is Latin? <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what this means literally. I guess it has to mean sane. And this is kits. First aid boxes, e.g. Yeah, they would be an example of a kit. Shoot, another equivalent phrase. I guess that should be darn and leave in editorially. Ooh, this is a tricky kind of word that shows up on crosswords fairly often. It's gonna be stet. Yeah, it's kind of editorial lingo. It usually is used when an editor tells a writer to take something out and then they wanna undo that and have them leave it in. They'll write stet. Yeah, that's what that means. Okay, let's finish off this corner here. Implores, that could be urges like a kindergarten room often. I'm gonna guess that's messy. So that would give us ire, anger, that's right. Popular fleece-lined boots. <laughs> Is that Uggs? The Rolling Stones blank a rainbow. Isn't that she's a rainbow? And then what do we have here? Online crafts marketplace. Yeah, that's gonna be Etsy. So we'll have use as directed medicine bottle caution. That sounds pretty good. All right, let's throw this E in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Monday puzzle in 21 minutes. That's a little on the slow side, but yeah, I think we took a minute or two to try and figure out what was going on with these shaded squares here, but it took until we hit the revealer for us to understand that the price is right. Yeah, this was a very nice Monday theme, and I really liked that every one of these phrases was a grid spanner. That was really, really cool. We got whole bean coffee, care to elaborate, that one's great, guerrilla warfare, and the revealer, the price is right. Very, very nice. And while we didn't get any real trickiness or wordplay, we did get a very nice variety of cluing. It was pretty nice that we got a bracket clue down here, tisk for shame. We got some really good equivalent phrases. One was in the theme, care to elaborate. This one was very funny too. Son of a for why you little. And we just had some really nice medium length fill. I really love even keel. That's a very nice phrase. I also liked seeing a lolcat. That's kind of a funny blast from the past at this point. And we got a nice and spooky reference to the shining with red rum. All right, well, while none of us may have won a new car, I think the price was right for this Monday puzzle. I hope you enjoyed solving that one along with me. I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow for the Tuesday puzzle, and I think that's gonna do it for now. All right, remember to get your pets spayed and neutered, and I'll see you next time.